testimonial match against Glasgow Rangers. League champion in 1989 and again in 1991. FA Cup winner in 1993, just months after he played in the League Cup winning side. And a Cup Winners' Cup winner in 1994. Twice in England international, he faced up against Italy and then Germany. Nigel Winterman has been uh, at the very heart of all things Arsenal for a decade and this is his night and uh, although kickoff is delayed here until 8.30 because of that security alert uh, at Highbury a little bit earlier on in the evening uh, there is a good turnout inside the ground a crowd up around the 20,000 mark is expected including around about four or five thousand very vocal Rangers fans away to our left hand side who have been keeping us amused with their uh, array of songs uh, it includes he's on the dole he's on the dole <laughs> Tom Burns is on the dole uh, nine in a row Glasgow Rangers champions and we're looking forward to a good night Dave Clark yeah without a doubt I mean uh, when Ian Selly wears two and great to see him back playing again after that dreadful leg break that kept him out of the ground uh, out of the game for such a long time Ian Selly uh, only one first team appearance this season Nigel Winter and his captain for the night, Steve Bold, David Platt, Ian Wright, Dennis Bergkamp, Nicholas Anelka, superb at Derby on Saturday, on Sunday rather, Ray Parler, Scott Marshall and Stephen Hughes. And on the bench for Arsenal, Isaiah Rankin, Paul Shaw, John Lukic, Steve Morrow and Anders Limpart, who is back at Highbury this evening. The referee, Dermot Gallagher, leads out the two sides. I'll run down the Rangers lineup for you in just a minute. The two Arsenal mascots, age seven and five, James and Joseph Winterburn, sons of Nigel. And the two sides, Arsenal in red and white, led out by David Seaman, Glasgow Rangers in the blue shirts, white shorts, and the red and black socks, form a guard of honor either side of the halfway line because uh, Nigel Winterburn is gonna be lashed out onto the field of play. And uh, here he is, one of his sons, uh, gripping him by his left hand, I think it's, uh, Little Joseph, who somewhat disloyally says his favourite player is David Seaman. <laughs> but Nigel Winterman comes onto the field of play and gets a standing ovation from both lineups. Great moment for him. Great servant to Arsenal Football Club. And uh, again, he will be here next season, his 11th season with the club. Yeah, terrific round of applause. He's getting Nigel Winterburn making his way towards the referee, shaking hands with Dermot Gallagher from Banbury, the uh, assistant referees, Michael Deering and Alf Street. It's a lovely, lovely atmosphere. It's a special night. There's a crowd of around about 20,000 people here. It's a rare thing. It's a rare thing in football these days. Someone uh, who stays with a club for 10 years, Nigel Winterburn has done that. This is the Rangers side one or two guests in their lineup this evening for the Scottish champions. Andy Dibble is in goal, remember him, uh, a long career south of the border of Manchester City amongst others. Stephen Wright is uh, the right back. George Albert will probably play left back. Expect Stephen Presley, David Watson and David Unsworth to make a, a guesting middle three. Stephen Presley is a former Glasgow Ranger, now plays for Dundee United. Big night for him if he does well, you never know. Dave Watson, Everton's caretaker manager, is playing along with David Unsworth, his central defensive partner at Goodison. They're both in the Rangers side tonight. Dave Watson uh, will almost certainly, we understand, be replaced as manager of Everton this week. Uh, tomorrow, they will unveil Slavon Bilic as their four and a half million pound signing. Dave Watson uh, will pass on the reins, we understand, uh, over the next 48, 72 hours to have it as next manager. John Moncur uh, has had a good season with West Ham United, particularly with the Hammers staying up, and he guests tonight for Glasgow Rangers. And then there's Charlie Miller, and Gaza, and Ali McCoist, and Gordon Jury. Added bit of spice, of course, jukebox Jury, and Gaza, ex-Tottenham players, back here to face the old enemy, the Arsenal. Yeah, nice little moment there. Uh, one of the disabled supporters was uh, waving at Ian Wright. Ian Wright went over and gave him his tracksuit top. Top, top man, Ian Wright. He's had a, a brilliant, brilliant season. Uh, perhaps less prolific in the uh, the closing stage of the year. His bookings, of course, have caused uh, a major headache to Arsene Wenger as well. But he's part of Ian.
Ian Wright's game, and he'll, uh, he'll be looking forward to coming up face to face with Paul Gascoigne. Uh, the range of substitutes tonight: Greg Shields, uh, Michael Ray. Uh, we understand it's Michael Ray, not Alex Ray, as the team sheet says. Michael Ray is uh, substitute goalkeeper this evening. It's not Alex Ray, the Sunderland, the former Millwall midfielder. Ian Durant, Peter Van Vossen, Derek McInnes, Gary Bollen, and Barry Ferguson. Not Ian Ferguson, who is also on the books of Glasgow Rangers. Andy McCoy's at the moment is doing some stretching exercises with the uh, with the two Glasgow Rangers mascots, Greg Sulkin and Jonathan Green, both from Middlesex and uh, Scottish football fans based south of the border. Nigel Winterburn, Arsenal's captain for the night, goes forward and exchanges a banner with Ali McCoy. And we all just say congratulations to everybody inside the stadium and outside the stadium who was so patient and calm and uh, cheerful and good-natured about the half hour or so, a little bit over half an hour delayed to kick off because of that security alert. Yeah, the security alert. Uh Holloway Police Station got a, a tip off 7.30. There was a, a device outside. It was a hoax device. And some, some idiot trying to hold the, uh, the whole thing up and cause problems here. A credit to the staff, really, because it's now 8.32. And to, uh, to get the whole place cleared and, and get everything sorted out in just uh, around about uh, 50 minutes' time is, uh, is something a little bit special. And uh, well done all the staff here at Highbury. And well done to the, uh, the police here in North London as well. They'll be attacking the north bank away to our right-hand side. Obviously, Caesar will be a little bit late tonight on Capital Gold as Ali McCoy touches it to Gordon Jury. And we're off and running on Capital Gold Sports Time with Carling Black Label Essential Kit for any match. And this is Paul Gascoigne booed with his first touch. Forward he goes to Ali McCoy. And McCoy flips it away towards the left-hand side. Gazza takes over from Albert. Halfway line. In steps Ray Parler. In fields of Stephen Hughes. And there's David Platt. Platt turning away from Ali McCoyst inside his own half of the field spreads it wide towards this near side and this is Steve Bold in field towards Ian Selly uh, Scott Marshall at the moment is uh, playing away in the right fullback position with Ian Selly as a central defender partnering Steve Bold this is Dennis Bergkamp 15-20 yards inside Rangers territory ball's a little over here Dave Watson cuts it out uh, the Everton caretaker boss and flips it away towards Charlie Miller Arsenal have it again though inside Rangers territory Territory. Watson through on Platt, and again, Rangers break. Good forward positive run by Albert. Halfway line, he turns it back in field to Ali McCoy. McCoy spreads it wide and away towards the far side. This is Charlie Miller, uh, just about 10 yards inside Arsenal territory, flicking it back to Dave Watson again. And big Dave Watson right footed out towards this near side for Rangers and Stephen Wright. Right in field to Dave Watson once again, former England international himself. Exchanges passes with Charlie Miller familiar in blue Dave Watson uh, not so familiar in the blue of Glasgow Rangers forward to Gordon Jory Jory back to David Watson again who is uh, seeing a lot of the ball early moments spreads it wide towards this near side and Stephen Wright forward but it's cut out by Steve Bold and Winterburn gets his first touch and a cheer and Arsenal will come forward with Stephen Hughes to Ian Wright Gascoigne strong in the challenge Glenn Hoddle here watching him tonight and uh, he will be aware of that as uh, Rangers have it midway inside their own half of the field as we're told as John Monker spreads it wide away the last time to the far left hand side that Glenn Hoddle hasn't made it tonight after all uh, he was intending to come and see the game but uh, uh, Gabby could get plays, a ticket. but Glenn Hoddle is here <laughs> yeah. yeah Arsenal wouldn't sell tickets they on police advice uh, we gather that Glenn was outside the Avenue Road at 9.30 this morning after his ticket too late Glenn I couldn't sell him Gaza inside the centre circle for Rangers it's prodded forward by Stephen Hughes Ian right back to Platt Bergkamp there well ready Led by Dave Watson, and here's Paul Gascoigne. Go on, Gazza, shouts someone in the crowd. Ali McCoy receives it from the England midfielder out towards his near right hand side. Stephen Wright is there, and back towards the halfway line it goes once again. Rangers in the blue shirts, white shorts, black socks, and red tops. Champions 47 times north of the border to Celtics 35. And uh, let's go, Rangers. Uh, nine times on the run, we'll be looking to make it ten next season, and you wouldn't want to bet against it. Ian Selly, great to see him playing again. Out to the far side of Marshall. This is Selly once more. It was a terrible leg break. Infield it goes to Nigel Winterburn, skipper for the night. Ten goals in his Arsenal career, one a year. 
They showed them all, I think, on the uh, big screen while we were waiting for kickoff to get underway. Uh, that was 30 seconds, Phil. This is Scott Marshall, right-hand side, long forward to Ian Wright. Dave Watson goes up in the challenge with Wright, and it drops over him, and Rangers will build again. Disappointing Brian Lyodrup isn't here tonight with Rangers. This is Stephen Wright on the halfway line, though. In field, Steve Hughes gets a touch. Jory, good little flick off to John Moncur. Moncur spreads it outside of his left boot away to George Alberts, far side of the field. Alberts left-footed, strikes the first effort on goal, and it's tipped over the top of the bar by David Seaman. I don't think it would have gone in from Alberts, around about 25 yards out. Might have just flipped and woodwork on its way over had Dave Seaman not got a touch. Nice to see that uh, the two Winterburn juniors, James and uh, Joseph, both actually say that David Seaman is their best, their favourite player, uh, as opposed to their dad. In comes the first corner kick of the game, and it's cleared comfortably away, and this is Nicolas Anelka. Uh, a great style and grace about the big, tall Frenchman. Uh, still so young. This is Stephen Hughes. Hughes now. Midway inside his own half of the field. Out to Steve Bold on this near side. Ray Parler, Ian Wright, Anelka, and Winterburn forward. Bold flicks it off towards Bergkamp. Bergkamp looking for Wright. Well judged by Stephen Presley. And Presley turns it infield again towards Charlie Miller. For Rangers, nil-nil to Paul Gascoigne, far side of the field. In Nigel Winterburn's testimonial match, if you're just joining us on Capital Gold Sports Time, it kicked off late. Uh, 8.30 kickoff here. This is Paul Gascoigne. Gascoigne, Charlie Miller makes a run off Gaza, threads it through, Ali McCoyst in the area, and he scored! And Rangers take the lead on just five minutes, and it's Paul Gascoigne who weaves it through the Arsenal defence, and Ali McCoyst who strikes it beyond Dave Seaman. 1-0 to the Scottish champions in the Battle of Britain. <laughs> a little bit of uh, a terrific bit of uh, pace there from Paul Gascoigne, threaded it through, and Ali McCoyst got real power behind that. He's going away and celebrating to the uh, the Rangers fans down at the clock end of the ground. He's uh, He finished that terrifically well, right into the bottom right-hand corner. And uh, there was very little David Seaman could do about that one. 1-0 one to Glasgow Rangers and Paul Gascoigne at the heart of the goal. This is Ian Wright battling for it with John Moncur. Wright gets away from the West Ham midfielder guesting tonight, right on the edge of the area. Anelka infield. He's covered by Presley. Gets it wide to Nigel Winterburn. A great roar from the travelling Rangers fans and there are many of them here inside of the ground who've made the journey down or a lot I guess will be capital based jurors as Jordan Jory comes forward Charlie Miller is ahead of him here's Ali McCoy the goal scorer one of the great goal scorers in Scottish football never made it in his brief spell in England never really did much uh, it played for Sunderland briefly this is uh, Rangers again with John Monker. Infield to Gaza, a little flick away from Dennis Bergkamp. Old uh, rivalries reborn from Euro 96 as Gaza turns it out towards this near side and Miller's overhit the pass. And it's a uh, throw into Rangers midway in uh, to Arsenal midway inside their own half of the field. Six and a half minutes played. And Steve Bold has it at the back for the Gunners. Turns it square to Ian Selly. And Selly has room to run into and uh, skips forward five or ten yards. Uh, Ian Selly. 22 years of age, long downfield to Nicolas Anelka. Great star of the future he'll be. Dave Watson comes out and intercepts for Rangers. Dave Watson started the game very well. Ali McCoy finds Paul Gascoigne. Gascoigne over halfway. Flips it up to Jury to Gascoigne again. Trying to run things from the middle of the park. Weaves away from uh, Stephen Hughes. Spreads it away towards Miller. Just can't get the ball off Gascoigne at the moment. Miller up to the edge of the Arsenal area. Platt covers. Miller tried to play it through. McCoy had made a run. It was blocked by Selly and Hughes forward to Anelka. Now Bergkamp forward. Just over here for Dennis Bergkamp. Out of play down on this near side. It's a Rangers throw. Midway inside their own half of the field. Down on this near touchline. And it's uh, just a little throw into John Moncur from Stephen Wright. And Johnny Moncur uh, puts his foot on the ball. He'll love playing alongside Paul Gascoigne and John Moncur. This is Gaza inside the centre circle. Charlie Miller away in front of him. George Alberts on the far side. And Alberts controls. Shimmy's away from Anelka. Platt doesn't challenge. Infield it goes. Rangers build with Moncur. Moncur spreads it wide and away towards Gordon Jury. Left hand side. Attacking the north bank. Jury gets the cross in. McCoy's attacking the near post. Didn't get the touch. Steve Bowl ghosting in with him and it's behind and it's a goal kick and we played eight minutes and it's nil-nil. Uh, they're a noisy bunch, the Rangers fans, aren't they? Great support. Yeah, fantastic support. They were uh, milling around Leicester Square a little bit earlier on just outside the uh, Capitol Cafe and the offices there making a hell of a lot of noise, drinking a few beers 
are generally enjoying the London sunshine, I think. Thirsty lads, they are. <laughs> Here's Anelka striking from distance, about 25 yards out. Left-footed. Didn't really get any power behind it, and it's behind it. It's a goal kick, which is taken by a fan <laughs> <laughs> inside the six-yard box. And uh, Andy Dibble didn't seem to mind. This is Gaza. Gaza turns it forward towards uh, Charlie Miller. Miller stabs it off his left foot, out towards his near side, and Steve Presley. Presley towards the halfway line. And uh, Gordon Jory bowled with half a challenge. Miller through, Jory's onside. And Arsenal could be in trouble here again. Jory cuts inside, shoots low, and Seaman saves. And another good break by Rangers. Gordon Jory got away from Ian Sally. And in fact, the low left-footed finish was a bit disappointing after, uh, uh, again, and some very good football through the midfield by Rangers. And uh, David Seaman made the save. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think Jory just uh, overdid it a little bit there. I don't think anyone needs to take it on his right foot. Switched inside. Didn't get the power with his left, so uh, Seaman comfortably saved there. Gordon Jory, well known, of course, around these parts. Uh, former Chelsea striker who was desperate to move back closer to his Scottish homeland, so he moved to Tottenham. It's Stephen Presley on his own goal line for Rangers, out towards this near side. Stephen Wright in field to Presley and Gascoigne again. Gascoigne, Platt gets the challenge in. Old friends at England level. Platt out to Winterburn. Wonder if David Platt will get an England recall at this stage of his career. It's Gordon Jory away towards the far side of the field. George Alberts is on the far side for Rangers. Covered by Ray Parler. Alberts good play. Uh, only half a challenge and uh, certainly the challenges won't be full-blooded. Obviously I remember an Arsenal testimonial here back in 93. David O'Leary's testimonial when Manchester United came down and David O'Leary scored uh, that night. David O'Leary goals were even fewer and further between than Nigel Winterburn goals and that was a great night. Arsenal uh, really did it well. Paul Mercer's testimony was another good night. Uh, Paul Davis, remember him when they played uh, Celtic testimonial here? That was a good one as well. Bergkamp right-footed forward, chipped in towards the Rangers penalty area. Andy Dibble goes over and takes it, wearing an all-white goalkeeping jersey, bowls it away towards the far side of the field. Rangers in the European Champions League next season, but they enter the competition a round before Newcastle. They play a preliminary round if they get through that two-legged uh, tie, which will be played in July, can you believe? Uh, then they go into the first round proper along with Newcastle, and then if they get through that, they're in the league stage. That is uh, really a reflection of how UEFA uh, plays Scottish league football uh, on the kind of hierarchy across Europe. And uh, obviously it's not as strong as some of the other competing nations, and that's why Rangers have to play their way through an extra round to Newcastle and two extra rounds to Manchester United. Andy Dibble... Has <laughs> Gives away a corner <laughs> as Nigel Winterburn closed him down inside of the penalty area. And uh, it's a corner kick down on this near side, which Dennis Bergkamp will take. Arsenal's first of the game. We've played eight, uh, second of the game. We've played eight minutes. And Dennis Bergkamp will uh, take the corner. And Elka's up. Ian Wright's up. David Platt there. Bold there. And uh, Scotty Marshall on the far side. It's aimed to Bold, who chest down and volleys. It's blocked inside the area. Anelka leaps, missed times. Platt hooks it over his shoulder. Bold might get another chance. Presley gets ahead on it. And Glasgow Rangers will get it away in the end. I can't remember uh, Steve Bold's last Arsenal goal. He scored two here in the Cavaliers Cup semi against Sampdoria a couple of years ago, back in 1995. Scored two down at that end, at the clock end. As, uh, it's Ian Wright onside inside of the penalty area. Trying to bundle away through. He's won himself a corner kick. Steve Bold hasn't scored this season 15 in his Arsenal career. Uh, in, uh, in, his, in his club career with uh, Stoke, Torquay on loan and Arsenal in getting on 550 games. Arsenal corner kick, far side of the field, third of the game, 1-0 down. Ali McCoy scored it on eight minutes. It's Nigel Winterman's testimonial game on Capital Gold Sports Time with Carling Black Label, the football fan's favourite. Nigel Winterman will take the corner kick himself. It's his night. And uh, in it comes. Bent in towards the six-yard box, and it was Marshall who saw it very late as it dropped over Ian Wright, and it dropped over Stephen Wright as well to Scott Marshall, and he did swing a boot out. It didn't really make the contact he was looking for. And Nelka spreads it out towards this near side, and this is Dennis Bergkamp. Bergkamp up towards the edge of the Rangers box. Bent a beauty! Oh! Dennis Bergkamp bends an absolute perler. 22, 23 yards out. Looked up, picked his spot, and he scored an absolutely blinding goal. Dennis
this is the menace for Rangers, and it's 1-1. That was just outstanding. Dennis Bergkamp just looked up. He took it with the inside of his right boot, and it just bent and bent and bent beyond the outstretch, Andy Dibble. Fantastic, classic, classic Dennis Bergkamp. Wonderful finish by Bergkamp, and I know that testimonials tend to be three-quarter paced matches with uh, perhaps half-hearted challenges, but I think... Uh, even if that had been a fully competitive game, there was nothing he could have done. This is Bergkamp to Wright. It's 2-1 to Arsenal. Bergkamp into Ian Wright. And he hammers it left-footed and beats Dibble at his near post. And Arsenal have scored twice in 30 seconds. They lead Rangers by two goals to one. We've only played nine minutes. We've had three goals. And McCoyce, Bergkamp and Wright have scored already. This is some night. Arsenal 2, Rangers 1. Well, Ian Wright there. Listen to the crowd now. Listen. Ian Wright, right, right. He's in a little lap of honour there. Fantastic. Great finish from tight angle. And Ian Wright, an outstanding, outstanding couple of moments there. Bergkamp a goal. Then Wright a goal. Ali McCoy still on the score sheet. I think we're going to have uh, quite a few more later in the uh, in the programme and in the match as well, Steve. 2-1 already, Arsenal lead it. Uh, of course, it won't count towards Ian Wright's pursuit of Cliff Baston's goal-scoring record of 178 for Arsenal. Flat out towards this near side, this is Nigel Winterberg. The skipper, the Gunners are 2-1 up and you're not singing anymore, is the shout from the Arsenal fans. The Rangers fans uh, respond in kind with... Uh, uh, with uh, a tune away to our left-hand side as uh, Ray Parler has it over the halfway line. Is it one about the Pope? I don't think so. It's uh, David Platt out towards the far side of the field. In comes the challenge of Charlie Miller. And it's a throw in Arsenal on the halfway line. Uh, taken by David Platt to Dennis Bergkamp. And Bergkamp stabs it forward. And Stephen Hughes will attack the Rangers' defence. Dave Watson comes out. Hughes drives. Andy Dibble's having a nightmare, isn't he? It's uh, just bounced in front of him. He didn't get a touch on it and he didn't need to. It bounced up and... Uh, outside of his right hand up right goal kick as we uh, see again the drive on the big screen from Stephen Hughes that goes wide he's another one for the future very much so a former England youth now under 21 international three times he's played for the England under 21s and uh, he's made now some uh, eight some 19 appearances for the Arsenal first team Nigel Winterburn on the edge of the penalty chair, still only 20, Stephen Hughes. David Platt is there, and a few good Hugheses around in London football, aren't there, with uh, Mark and uh, Paul down at Chelsea, and Stephen here at Arsenal, talking to Mark Hughes earlier today, down at the Chelsea training ground, him and Erlen Johnson will be back there tomorrow to speak to more of the FA Cup final squad as we count down to the Cup final on Capital Gold Sports Time with Carling Black Label first for Thurst. Nigel Winterburn's testimonial night tonight. And of course, not forgetting the playoffs, the second leg tomorrow live from Molyneux, Wolves 1, Palace 3 after the first game at Selhurst Park. And we'll be keeping you right up to date with Brentford 2-1 up at home to Bristol City tomorrow after that great win in Ashton Gate. And Luton, who uh, take on crew at Kenilworth Road with a bit of work to do. And uh, news, goal news from Ipswich at home to Sheffield United as well. Ipswich, for me, will be the team to beat in the playoffs, I think. Bold square to Bergkamp. Bergkamp to Anelka. Anelka's flick. David Watson is there. The... Uh, Ex uh, Liverpool defender now plays for Everton. Yes, he was at Anfield. He never played for the first team at uh, Liverpool. Moved on to Norwich City. Made his name there before going back to Everton as skipper and now caretaker manager. I think, uh, as I said earlier, Everton will appoint their new manager for definite this week. Uh, that's what we understand. And Billich certainly will be unveiled tomorrow at a press conference at noon at Goodison Park. This is Stephen Wright for Rangers, close down by Winterburn, and gets it back to Dave Watson. Watson right footed away towards the far side of the field, and Rangers will uh, fill with David Unsworth, another guest. Unsworth gives it away. Anelka's there, a little flick by Anelka. Nice thought behind it. Presley got there a little bit quicker than Bergkamp, and Rangers will bring it away. This is Gordon Jury out towards the far side, and Johnny Moncur down that line. George Alberts, I've never seen him play before. This is Gordon Jury. He started quite well tonight. Gordon Jury taking on David Platt. Platt flicks it away towards the far side of the field, and uh, Rangers come again. And the challenge on Alberts <laughs> doesn't bring a free kick. Uh, even though it uh, would have done under normal circumstances. And John Monker flashes in a left-footed shot that goes a foot over the top of David Seaman's crossbar. No Tony Adams tonight. He is rested. Uh, he was injured, of course, for England this season. 
missing the internationals with Moldova and Poland and Italy will be a major part of uh, England's summer of football, we hope. And uh, it's all live, every international all the way through to France 98 on Capital Gold Sports Time. England, South Africa at Old Trafford on the 24th. Uh, England then in Poland. And uh, then we're all on a fun little jolly to France for 10 days to, uh, to go and watch that uh, uh, four-team tournament with Brazil and Italy and France and England. David Platt inside the Rangers half of the field. It's Gaza closing him down. Platt to Bergkamp. Bergkamp, Winterburn to his left-hand side. Here he is, right and Anelka, edge of the area, right from Winterburn. Finds Bergkamp, beautiful goal he scored. 2-1 Arsenal lead. And uh, Bergkamp edges it forward to Hughes and exchanges passes. Nice triangle, just bought a bit of room. Bergkamp in parlor, called offside by the linesman on the far side of the field, which is uh, a shame because it was a good run by Ray Parler, and I didn't think that uh, he was in an offside position. And uh, we have uh, played, my stopwatch has stopped, so I don't know how long <laughs> we've played, but Arsenal lead 2-1 anyway. And uh, it's eight minutes tonight, 23 minutes played. I was going to say, that's the longest seventh minute of any game ever. <laughs> As uh, Dave Seaman comes out and collects on the edge of his penalty area. 2-1 Arsenal, the goal's coming, uh, Ali McCoist on five, and then Burkamp and Wright within 30 seconds of each other. Here's Steve Bold for Arsenal, midway inside his own half of the field. 2-1, the Gunners lead it. And uh, I'm sure there will be attempts as the game goes on to try and fashion a Nigel Winterburn goal. Uh, David O'Leary scored, as I said, in his testimony against Man U. It was a four-all draw, and it was comical, the uh, attempts to try and get David O'Leary to score. He missed about 15 sitters before he finally stuck one in the roof of the net. Bergkamp's found right. Beautiful football and stabbed away by Presley at the last minute as Ian Wright just stepped inside of his man and Stephen Hughes was coming through to try and stick it past Dibble again. Well cleared by Presley. Arsenal given away by Platt. Paul Ball, Gascoigne. Uh, hasn't done much in the last 10 minutes, Gascoigne, after a bright start to the game. Squares it now to John Monker. Monker, weird to see him in, in blue and white. Really odd. Left-footed, he chips it away towards the far side of the field. Nally McCoist is in an offside position. And uh, it's a free kick to Arsenal on the far side of the field, which Ray Parler will take. And uh, after 23, 24 minutes, Arsenal 2, Glasgow Rangers 1, Nigel Winterburn's testimonial game. And there's Limpar uh, on the bench, remember, for Arsenal tonight. And uh, I'm sure he hasn't come uh, all the way down here not to play, so I'm sure that Anders Limpar will get a rousing ovation when he comes on at some point during the course of the evening, released by Birmingham uh, a couple of weeks ago. This is Stephen Wright, midway inside the Arsenal half of the field. McCoist is forward. Charlie uh, Miller's up there as well. Uh, as Jory lets it run to Albert. This is Miller trying to get in behind Marshall, who's playing right back, an unfamiliar position for him. Albert is there. He's a handful, is Albert. This is Miller right-footed over the top of the crossbar with the angled chip cross come shot over the top of Dave Seaman's crossbar. Another great uh, season for David Seaman. Injury uh, interrupted though it was. 28 first team appearances, 11 clean sheets, only 25 goals conceded. But all credit to John Lukic. 17 first team appearances, 22 goals conceded. And uh, five clean sheets. Played both the North London derbies. John Lukic and did very, very well in Seaman's absence. This is Bergkamp. Bergkamp and Nelka. And Dibble comes out and takes it. I think because... Uh, the game is kind of three-quarter paced and because challenges aren't full-blooded and because some of the marking isn't as tight as it would be in a competitive game, Dennis Burkham is really relishing in the amount of space that he's getting. Oh, he's having a, a brilliant, brilliant time, actually. Dennis Burkham's goal was just an absolute screamer, took it right-footed, bent it in beyond Andy Dibble, and it was just classic Dennis Burkham. But I think we're going to see him getting loads and loads of ball in this game, and Ian Wright and Nicholas and Elka are just thriving off the service they're getting. Uh, Arsenal were beaten 3-0 up at Ibrox last August. Uh, that game was live on Capital Gold Sports Time as well last year. Uh, Rangers 3, Arsenal 0, 41,000 were there. Uh, August 3rd, 1996. The testimonial for Richard Goff as Bergkamp looks for Anelka. Arsenal after revenge for that, and Anelka stabs it wide. From about 18 yards out, nice little effort it was too, Niklas Anelka. 
only played one game for Paris Saint-Germain and scored uh, in that game, Nicolas Sanelka, before signing for Arsenal. And uh, they kicked up a right old stink about it, the prisons as well, but Arsenal got their man in the end. I think uh, they didn't get him on the free that they were hoping for, but I think that uh, whatever they paid for him will prove to be a bargain. Gaza away towards the far side of the field. For Rangers, 2-1 down here. They first met way back in 1892 when Arsenal were uh, still down in Woolwich and lost 3-2 at home to Glasgow Rangers, who uh, you may know, uh, you may recall, you won't recall because it was last century, but you may know once played in the FA Cup, Glasgow Rangers, and withdrew. I think they got through to the quarter-final stage and uh, drew a game, and uh, the rules uh, uh, were adhered to that they had to go and travel uh, down into England to play a replay, and they said that uh, they didn't want to. They couldn't fit it in with their other fixtures. They wanted to just play on until they could find a winner in that game uh, the referee wouldn't allow them to do so so they withdrew from the FA Cup rather than have to play the replay and uh, never played in it again and the course of football history was interestingly changed <laughs> not very interesting at all <laughs> Parler plays a 1-2 with David Platt this is Paul Gascoigne inside the Arsenal half of the field and Charlie Miller makes a forward run Gascoigne right footed chips in Nigel Winterburn uh, comes over and knocks it back to David Seaman with a little bit of unnecessary uh, ball skills as well and finds Ian Selly on the edge of the D it's 2-1 uh, to Arsenal it's just before 9 o'clock it's Cabergold Sports Home and Carling Black Label uh, the football fans favourite it's Nigel Winterman's testimonial night and uh, a good night so far three good goals Arsenal 2-1 up Dave Watson with Anelka appeals for handball against Anelka and uh, the referee let it go and Rangers smash it away downfield left footed David Unsworth former England under 21 captain gives it away though and this is Dennis Bergkamp for Arsenal out towards this near side Nigel Winterburn Winterburn gives it away to Gascoigne Gascoigne forward to Ali McCoy Gascoigne again a leaner looking Gascoigne moves forward and finds Charlie Miller in space inside the area Miller onto his right boot tries to bend it and it's blocked inside of the penalty area but Gascoigne picks up the loose change and turns it back again to Albert infield to John Moncur. Moncur was he foul? He was. And it's a free kick to Rangers right on the edge of the Arsenal penalty area. Stephen Hughes conceded it. And I imagine Paul Gascoigne will fancy a flip from this range. He played in Paul Merson's testimonial here as well last season. A game organised by Frank McClintock. And he was telling me beforehand Gasly scored four in that. And uh, he's going to try and go one better tonight. I think he'll have a job. George Albert might hit this one. Gascoigne and John Moncur are there as well. Albert cracks it left footed and seems and save and tips it round the post well Albert just smashed it through the Arsenal wall you didn't fancy getting in the way of that one in a testimonial and Dave Seaman tipped it wide for a Rangers corner kick good strike by Albert Albert really gave that some pasty didn't he and uh, Dave Seaman did very very well went the right way and just fingertips it wide corner kick corner kick comes in Ray Parler tries to head it away it's obviously some bizarre Yorkshire expression <laughs> giving it some pasty as uh, Arsenal break on the right hand side with Ray Parler Gascoigne cuts it out Anelka tries to bring it away and uh, Anelka gives it some pasty to Dennis Bergkamp and Bergkamp saved by Dibble with his legs and Gaza comes away with a loose ball and Andy Dibble makes up for one or two early mistakes in the game because I think he expected to score then and Dibble saved it with his legs yeah did very very well indeed uh, Dibble just getting down there have you not heard that before pasty no, no. great expression it's Gordon Jury to Albert four towards the edge of the area this is Ali McCoy turning left footed away from Marshall came off Marshall that'll be a corner kick to Rangers a second in the space of a couple of minutes fifth corner of the game Arsenal have had three Rangers have had two it's nine o'clock and uh, that means we've been playing around about half an hour and it's a corner kick on the far side that we've taken by Charlie Miller and we have a streaker uh, running onto the field of play from the clock end. <laughs> well, we had five streakers out and about at FA Carling Premiership matches you'd have seen them in their newspapers every one of them was far better looking than this character who has uh, got absolutely nothing on it's a he by the way uh, apart from he's got some uh, he's got a pair of shoes on and uh, an enormous uh, great big Glasgow Rangers flag at the moment <laughs> 
think he's going to go up for the corner, isn't he? He's, uh, he's going to run inside of the penalty area, and uh, at the moment, nothing is doing any. Is, uh, nobody's doing anything about getting him off the field of play. Uh, the stewards and uh, police are just letting him wheel around at the moment. And he's getting a massive ovation from the Glasgow Rangers fans, isn't he? Way to our left-hand side. <laughs> the only massive thing about him, though, Steve. I think it's a bit cold out there. Yeah, isn't yeah. <laughs> he's. Uh, quite a small chap <laughs> and, uh, so it shouldn't be too hard to tackle and uh, <laughs> eventually Rangers will have a corner kick there's no stewards anywhere at all and uh, he's doing a Batman now look he's got the flag devil. behind oh he's just in a dive right in front of Ian Wright <laughs> I think he's been drinking Ian on an Wright. empty head Steve there. I think he has Ian Wright enjoyed it anyway happy as and, a nuke uh, and Ian Wright gives him a hug and uh, wraps the flag around the uh, young man in question who uh, who uh, fortunately wasn't completely overexcited by meeting Ian Wright in the centre circle, otherwise it really might have got quite embarrassing. He's going to run off the field of play eventually, we hope. Uh, there must be a steward somewhere who can get him off as Glasgow Rangers wait to take the corner kick. <laughs> Nigel Winterburn. Nigel Winterburn's doing binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of policemen have come on, they're going to take him away, and, uh, and uh, he's going to be... Uh, checked out of the ground I suppose but he gets a, a rousing ovation from around about 16 or 17 thousand fans inside Highbury and uh, Rangers will have a quarter kick they're 2-1 down <laughs> and uh, what does that count does that count as injury time I don't know in comes the Rangers corner kick right footed high floater in towards Gascoigne Gascoigne heads towards goal and it's behind David Stevens goal and it's a goal kick to Arsenal the way to our right hand side as they defend the North Bank very entertaining night so far on Capital Gold Sports Time a little over half an hour played Arsenal at 2-1 up three great goals and uh, Ali McCoy scored the first Dennis Bergkamp was probably the best and Ian Wright scored just 30 seconds later and those Glasgow Rangers fans find their voices again behind that goal uh, you get this horrible feeling there's about another 4,000 potential streakers behind that goal at the moment as Paul Gascoigne finds George Alberts inside his own half of the field and David Unsworth left footed forward and square it goes towards John Moncur. Moncur uh, turning away and finding a little bit of room. Ali McCoy's forward, Charlie Miller's there as well. This is Albert. Albert now brings it forward, left footed into Gascoigne. A little bit of space for Gaza. Steps away from, uh, from uh, Hughes and tried to release Albert inside of the box, but it was well read by Scott Marshall. And Ray Parler flicks it wide and away towards Nicholas Anelka on the right hand side. Anelka trying to uh, get away from Gordon Jory, but uh, Rangers will build again. Right footed ball forward towards Albert. Half a challenge from Anelka. Albert. Big, strong and blonde, shrugs it off and finds Gordon Jury away on the far side. This is Gascoigne. Gascoigne puts his foot on the ball. Turns it infield to Charlie Miller. Miller forward to John Moncur. Moncur finds Albert. Albert's infield again to Jury. And Gaza spreads it wide towards his near right-hand side. This is Stephen Wright on his left foot, looking for support from Stephen Presley. Presley, one of the Rangers' uh, guests tonight. Neat ball, and Stephen Wright's released for a moment, right-hand side. Nigel Winterman blocks the cross and gets a cheer, and Dennis Bergkamp shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with Stephen Wright. Shepherds it out of play down on this near side for an Arsenal throw-in, which uh, is uh, played back towards Nigel Winterburn and then to Steve Bold, and Bold will uh, clear it about 40 yards, 50 yards away towards the far side of the field, and Scott Marshall. I uh, don't think he'll... Uh, particularly fancy playing right back again in uh, in competitive football but he'll sit in there this evening while Ian Sally plays alongside Steve Bolt at the heart of the Arsenal defence Tony Adams uh, is uh, not out is uh, is here tonight saw him earlier and uh, and said hello but uh, he's not playing this evening is uh, is our tone hopefully he'll be alright for England in Poland on uh, May the 31st live uh, in uh, in Horzuf on Capital Gold Sports Time. It's John Moncur over the halfway line. Away on the left-hand side for Rangers. Forward it goes to Jury. This is Charlie Miller, though. Miller, 10, 12 yards inside Arsenal territory. Trots away and finds Dave Watson. Watson, who played, uh, didn't he, for Hong Kong? That Hong Kong Select 11 against England just prior to Euro 96. Uh, 
uh, when uh, England won 1 0, did we? It's George Albez on the far side of the field, and it's behind this it's Rangers corner kick uh, down in front of the North Bank. Their third corner of the game, three corners apiece, 2 1, the Gunners lead it. And all those goals came in the first 10 minutes. So we've uh, now getting on towards half time. Dermot Gallagher, the ref, as Albert swings in the corner kick, Presley got up, and Dennis Burkamp will run it away for Arsenal. I don't think there's anything, any, any word of a, a friendly or a non-competitive game in Dennis Bergkamp's vocabulary. He treats them all the same as uh, he turns it in field towards Ian Wright. Wright, right-footed, chipped onto Platt, comfortably headed away from the edge of the penalty area by Dave Unsworth. And Presley rolls it out towards this near side for Rangers again and right back to Stephen Presley once more. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, an exciting uh, first half so far. Dennis Bergkamp's goal, that really the highlight. It's great as well to see uh, Gazza and Bergkamp coming face to face. Whenever, whenever Dennis Bergkamp gets the ball, Gazza tears across the pitch to try and challenge him just to uh, to try and prove his superiority. It's not there, though, is it? Well, they, uh, <coughs> they would have uh, obviously played against each other, England and Holland, on a number of occasions, World Cup qualifying, and uh, also in Euro 96. And uh, I guess would have played against each other in Syria as well, Gaza with uh, Lazio and Dennis Bergkamp with Inter Milan. By the way, what happened to those Arsenal Inter Milan games when Dennis Bergkamp signed for Arsenal from Inter Milan? I thought there was going to be one every year for three years or something. There was one, and uh, I don't know what happened to the other ones, but Nigel Winterburn has it for Arsenal anyway, down on this near side. I did hear a whisper that there may be a game against Inter Milan uh, out in Italy sometime in the next 12 months if they can fit it into already busy schedules. But I'm sure I remember that was part of the transfer deal, that there was 7 million quid and three games against Inter Milan. I don't know what happened to them, but uh, Arsenal have it. Anyway, away on the far side of the field with Ian Sally. They're 2-1 up. And uh, away towards the far side. Marshall in field towards Sally, and Sally squared to Steve Bold. Bold controls midway inside his own half of the field. And uh, this is Dennis Burkamp once again. Burkamp forward to Ian Wright. Poor header by Presley. Wright, 3-1. by Steve Presley. It really gifted Ian Wright the opportunity and Andy Dibble was rooted to the spot and Ian Wright said thank you very much indeed. It may be a friendly, they may not count in my career record but if you give me opportunities like that then I'll score him and I'll sort of 3-1 up. It was a sweet, sweet finish that wasn't it? Ian Wright just chipped it over Andy Dibble and right into the right hand corner there. Superb finish from Ian Wright and uh, Arsenal now 3-1 up. And Wright is on a hat-trick. And Arsenal lead Glasgow Rangers by three goals to one in uh, this so-called Battle of Britain. And uh, it's been a good night as well so far. Two goals for Ian Wright, one for Dennis Bergkamp. And uh, a cup of tea for me as Rangers <laughs> come me. forward. Cleared <laughs> away by Marshall. And Dave Watson has it for Rangers at the heart of their defence. Out towards this near side. Presley onto Stephen Wright on this near side. Ian Wright comes across and challenges for Arsenal. Uh, just about Dennis Burke, the way he treats games all always the same. He's such a sort of... Um, a quiet individual, very, very quiet, very quiet on the field of play, and almost languid, but magical skills. He's had a brilliant season, Dennis Bergkamp. And uh, for me, perhaps he and uh, Zola and Juninho have been, uh, have been the foreign stars of this season. They've all had magnificent seasons. This lad could well be one of the stars next. And Nelka looking for Winterburn on this near side. The linesman uh, without uh, any proper sense of respect considering the cause of the game puts up his flag and pulls Nigel Winterburn offside. And it's a free kick Glasgow Rangers and the Rangers fans behind that goal of, uh, well, how, how long ago was it that Tommy Burns got the sack? It was only about 10 days ago. They've come up with about 10 songs a day since then celebrating the fact that the former Celtic manager is now, <laughs> according to them, on the dole. Um, I can't, can't quite see Tommy Burns going down Glasgow Govan Dole office with his, uh, <laughs> with his UB40, but you never know. This is uh, Gordon Jury to Gascoigne. Gascoigne, edge of the Rangers penalty area, pulls it back towards John Moncur. Moncur looks a bit like Brian Laudrup, actually, who isn't here today. Stephen Wright turns it square. Alberts is there, uh, one of the big successes 
successes in uh, foreign imports into Scottish football, along with Paolo Di Canio at Celtic, who I see today has decided he wants to, uh, after he wanted to leave when Tommy Burns was, uh, was relieved of his duties, he now says he wants to stay for the rest of his career, which is uh, a pretty swift change of mind. And uh, the referee has blown up and awarded Rangers a free kick, I think, right on the edge of the Arsenal penalty area, away on the right-hand side. And the free kick do that, he gave the free kick against Nigel Winterburn and Dermot Gallagher now is telling Nigel Winterburn he's too close to the free kick <laughs> but it's his testimony that he can go home with the ball if he wants, Gascoigne swings it in and Ali McCoy from about three or four yards out has totally mistimed the header and got no sort of touch, got dogs abuse from the north bank away to the right hand side and he's missed a sitter Ali McCoy an absolute sitter, brilliant, brilliant cross from uh, Paul Gascoigne there, caught it with the inside of his right boot, he swung in and McCoy's missed an absolute Sitter. Tell you what, Gazza, he looks a bit like uh, he's had a new hairdo, he looks a bit like Grant Mitchell, he's got a bit of a ball patch in the back as well. Yes, and uh, out towards this near side, Steve Presley turns it infield, Gazza has had his hair cut very short as uh, Anelka has it on this near side, Nigel Winterburn too I had a fight with a lawnmower last week and uh, no one's let me forget it since I stepped into the office with my new locks, nicely shorn it's uh, out of play down on this near side and it's a Rangers throw, midway inside their own half of the field and Stephen Wright will take it right back to Presley once again uh, plays his football for Dundee United now Steve Presley had a spell at Coventry remember him down at Highfield Road how did Coventry stay up again it's Charlie Miller away towards the far side of the field and Rangers build once more with big tall David Unsworth of Everton and uh, Arsenal with some defending to do inside their own half of the field and they do it well this is Scott Marshall gonna 3-1 up approaching half time Marshall long downfield here and right trying to get away from Dave Watson Watson struggling here Wright almost got the better of him it's a goal kick though Ian Wright complains that it should have been a corner I wonder if Ian Wright can pick up a suspension tonight uh, if he'll get himself hooked down towards this near side and uh, actually this has been quite a happy ground for Dave Watson guesting tonight for Glasgow Rangers he scored a belter for Everton here two or three seasons ago as uh, John Moncur has it. That's the Rangers fans you can hear. And they're not only in the clock end behind that goal. They've dotted all over the place, Rangers fans. Uh, they've been dotted all over the place in Leicester Square, outside Capitals building as well, outside the studios this afternoon. As Gaza looks for Gordon Jory, bowled back to Seaman, and Seaman right footed pirouettes before clearing it long downfield. And one in the air by Presley to Stephen Wright. Wright square. Alberts is there on the halfway line. George Albert, 10 yards inside Arsenal territory. Still room away on the left hand. And uh, Nigel Winterburn so far hasn't had a chance. The Dennis Bergkamp turns it away to Platt in the area. Platt has Anelka square of him. It's blocked by David Unsworth. Platt runs into Unsworth again, who brings it away, the Everton defender. And Paul Gascoigne runs it away downfield over the halfway line. Gascoigne now with uh, Ali McCoyst ahead of him. Here he is, McCoyst. Helps it on to Gordon Jury. Jury edge of the penalty area. McCoyst once again. Nigel Winterburn comes across and covers, and, and McCoyst tries a left footed bending shot that curls uh, slightly, but nowhere near enough towards David Seaman's goal and behind an out of play on the right hand side. Apparently, David O'Leary's testimonial and my tales of it is boring the pants off our <laughs> press office. Well, at the moment, Steve, is, uh, Steve Wilson is sitting here in the press box. He's got a cup of tea in front of him, and his, his mouth is watering, and his tongue has been lolloping out over the last uh, five minutes. So I'll just let you have a little slurp of that, Steve. Is that tasty? Thank you. Lovely, yeah. Yeah, good. It's a free kick, Arsenal. We're approaching the halfway mark. Arsenal three, Rangers one. Winterburn infield to Bergkamp. Bergkamp, Gazza closes him down. Square it goes. This is uh, Scotty Marshall inside the uh, inside the uh, Rangers half of the field. Bergkamp right footed forward. Platt flips it off. Unsworth heads it away. Gascoigne attacks it. Bergkamp comes over. And the referee blows up for half time. It got underway with Andes Limpa on then for the Gunners. Just trying to work out who it is who has gone off. Is Stephen Hughes still out there in the second half? I don't think he is. I think Stephen Hughes has come off and Anders Limbar on. It's out of play, down on this near side. It's a Glasgow Rangers throw in, midway inside their own half of the field. I'm sure it's uh, it's Limpar for Hughes. Steve Morrow is on at the back as well. Ian Selly has moved to the midfield. Scotty Marshall is still out there. Steve Bold is still out there as well. And Lee Dixon has gone off. 
at, uh, at half time as well. Oh no, Lee Dixon was never on. Scott Marshall was playing right back, so we'll try and work out who it is, which of the Arsenal players it is who isn't out there. Is Ray Parler out there for the start of the second half? Yeah, yeah he's there. Oh, Stephen yeah, Hughes that. isn't. And Nelka Wright and Bergkamp, are they all around? And it's Bergkamp there. This is Scott Marshall on this near side. Turns it in field to Bergkamp. Bergkamp forward. And oh, I've still got 12 people out there. I can't work out who's gone off. David Platt there. Isn't David he? Platt's gone off. That's right. No David Platt. So uh, it's uh, Morrow and uh, Limpar on Platt and Hughes off. Ian Selly has gone centre midfield uh, for David Platt and Morrow in alongside Steve Bold at the back of the Arsenal defence. Rangers come forward then with Gascoigne, 3-1 down, spreading it out towards the right-hand side and this is John Moncur. Moncur away towards the far side of the field of play. Arsenal 3, Glasgow Rangers 1, but look at those Rangers fans on their feet again in the clock end. Stephen Wright out on the far side, turns it back in field to Gascoigne. Gascoigne square to Johnny Moncur. Moncur running into trouble, Limpar and Wright were there, but he spreads it wide towards this near side. And this is George Albert. Albert's up towards the edge of the Arsenal penalty area. Good run this again, trying to spread it in and it ricocheted off Steve Bold and then off the ankle of Ali McCoyst. It came too quickly for him, couldn't adjust his uh, position position to take it in his stride. Nigel Winterburn turns it back to Stephen Morrow and it's 3-1 to the Arsenal as Dennis Bergkamp right footed clears it long upfield and all the way through to Andy Dibble in the Rangers goal. Bowls it over on Gascoigne there. Lovely touch first time to John Moncur and Gascoigne takes the return with that uh, familiar run almost leaning backwards. Very upright stance and he finds McCoy with a dream of a ball and McCoy's right footed puts it wide turning inside of the penalty area lovely ball by Gascoigne uh, real quality in that bent it into the box must be great to get service like that if you're Ali McCoy's oh brilliant absolutely brilliant I mean Gascoigne's cross there fantastic McCoy's got real venom behind the shot but just half a, half a yard wide of the mark and uh, Dave Seaman to be fair wasn't troubled at all by that this is Stephen Morrow for Arsenal the man who won the Coca Cola Cup who now of course is playing his football with Queen's Park Rangers and uh, returning here to Highbury tonight. Ray Parler to Ian Selly. Selly back towards David Seaman. And Seaman will uh, touch it back to Morrow again. Nice to see him back in red and white. Morrow. And uh, they kept a shirt for him as well. They've still got the old uh, Stephen Morrow shirt knocking about somewhere. Uh, because he has one with his own name on. It's down towards this near side. And his Limpars, uh, by the way, has uh, obviously been knocked up. <laughs> and the name on the back has been knocked up in some dodgy shop down the other way road by the looks of it and i think they spelt it wrong it's forward to ian wright on the edge of the rangers penalty area the three one up wright tries to chip it in it's blocked by dave watson cleared away only as far as parlor uh parlor down on this near touchline and marshall is there as well this is dennis burkamp for the gunners sort of a really outstanding goal to put Arsenal level at one apiece. This is Winterburn. Limpar takes over. Limpar to Anelka. Anelka right footed bends it in and Dave Watson will bring it away. Uh, the, the number and the lettering of Limpar's shirt are completely different from anyone else, from everybody else's. Um, it's like uh, it's like you bought the Arsenal shirt and then you've uh, you've gone out and bought some white sticky tape and uh, tried to done it yourself. Done in the shop before uh, before the kickoff apparently <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> obviously had some old letters knocking about, <laughs> about three years ago design it's a uh, little chip in by McCoyst inside the area Peter Van Boston's there and Dave Seaman comes out and collects and throws long downfield good firm header at the back by David Unsworth this is Gascoigne again great ball it was from McCoyst a moment ago Gascoigne here once more uh, shrugs off the attentions of Ian Selly gets it wide it's chipped in uh, and uh, Van Vossen, uh, no, it's Stephen Wright out on the far side of the field looking for Van Vossen, runs out of room. Nigel Winterburn knocks it down the line to Dennis Bergkamp. We're five minutes into the second half. It's 3-1 to the Arsenal. And uh, given away, it's uh, angle ball into the box looking for Ali McCoy, played by the, the substitute McInnes. And uh, he's annoyed with himself, McInnes, that he didn't pick out Ali McCoy there. This is Ray Parler now on the attack for Arsenal. Turning it square, look for Limpar, George Alberts brings it away for Glasgow Rangers and uh, nicks it up towards this near side and John Moncur makes a good 
forward run, positive looking, before finding a bit of Van Vossen down on this near side. Van Vossen steps neatly inside, and Marshall, he might shoot here, Van Vossen could go all the way. Morrow comes in with a challenge, cleared away acrobatically by Winterburn as McInnes came in with a challenge, and fouled Nigel Winterburn, and that's a free kick to Arsenal on the edge of their own penalty area. On Capital Gold Sports Time, the Carling Black Labour Central kit for any match, 3-1. The Gunners lead it. As Limpar right put it, bends a great ball up. Ian Wright's off after it. Oh, Presley almost got himself in trouble. Ian Wright nicks it away from him. Presley recovers well and turns it up towards this near side. And McKinnis brings it away and he's fouled. Uh, Stephen Presley playing more like Priscilla Presley inside of the penalty area there as Ian Wright nicked it away from him and almost added Arsenal's fourth on 51 minutes. But it's been a good night so far. And uh, you have to pay credit to those Rangers fans. I mean, I don't know how many there are exactly. I would say around about five or 6,000. Uh, in a crowd pushing the 20,000 mark. That's a great return, even if they are based down in London, the Rangers fans. Uh, a lot of them, judging by... Uh Judging by the accents, uh, shot comes in and well wide uh, on David Seaman's goal. John Moncur with that shot, well wide, but he gets applauded for it. Uh, judging by uh, one or two of the Rangers fans in Leicester Square this afternoon, I think they had come down from Scotland because uh, it looked like they've been up since the wee small early hours and they've been uh, knocking back the uh, <laughs> old Carly Black label the whole way. It's Dave Watson on the edge of his own penalty area, finding David Unsworth. Unsworth square to Steve Press on the edge of his own penalty area. Limpar closes him down. Presley finds Stephen Wright. In goes Nigel Winterburn. This is Stephen Wright again on the far right-hand touchline. Exchanges passes with Presley, and Presley Wright footed forward over the top of Steve Morrow. And uh, Steve Bold gets it back into the now Queen's Park Rangers. Uh, I going to say defender, but he's really a utility man almost tomorrow. This is an Elka up towards the edge of the Glasgow Rangers penalty area to Ian Selly. Selly's foul by John Moncur, and Arsenal will have a free kick. I bet John Moncur is loving playing for Glasgow Rangers. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, he's, he's got the shirt on there. He'll definitely keep it as a souvenir. And Elka shoots, hit Dave Watson edge of the area, and Watson recovers well. Right footed and smacks it away downfield. Sharp intake of breath from Dave Watson. Scott Marshall comes over and has chipped the ball out of play away from Peter. Van Vossen throw it far side of the field and Stephen Wright will take it and uh, Utebi Aguna uh, from some Gunas away to our left hand side in the upper tier of the east stand Arsenal want to make a substitution and John Lukic is going to be coming on any moment now for Dave Seaman I imagine we'll see a few changes throughout the course of the uh, second half one or two substitutions here come Glasgow Rangers Dave Watson square David Unsworth on this near side. Unsworth to John Moncur. Back to David Unsworth again. On this near touchline, George Albert. Back again towards David Unsworth. Uh, Walter Smith actually told Paul Gascoigne he had to be here by half past five. And uh, the rest of the squad didn't get here until about an hour and a half later. <laughs> Gascoigne wasn't very impressed. It's uh, Rangers bringing it away downfield, Stephen Presley. And the Arsenal fans get to their feet. And... Uh, give it some uh, applause for Nigel Winterburn, which is nice, and the Glasgow Rangers fans join them in that as well. This is, oh, is it uh, Stand Up If You Hate Man You? It could be that one, I'm not quite sure. It's uh, John Monker inside their own half of the field. Forward it goes towards Paul Gascoigne. Gascoigne over the halfway line. The Van Vossen is in an offside position at the moment. Comes back on. Gascoigne sends it wide towards Stephen Wright on the right-hand touchline. Infield it goes to Van Vossen. Edge of the Arsenal penalty area. This is John Monker. Bit of room on the left, but uh, Alberts was a bit slow to react. Monker still has it, and Winterburn cuts it out on the edge of his own penalty area. Winterburn but runs upfield towards the halfway line. Anders Limpa takes over. Gascoigne closes him down. And the super sweet signed by Arsenal from Cremonese for a million after Italia 90. Sends a lovely ball downfield. Looking for Ian Wright, who's on a hat-trick tonight, having scored two. Still John Lukic waits to come on, by the way, for Arsenal. Ball hasn't gone out of play for a few minutes. Bergkamp down the line to Wright. Wright with Winterburn, who's edging ever uh, more and more upfield as uh, the game goes on in search of a Nigel Winterburn goal. Remember one he scored at Scarborough a few years ago in the League Cup up at the uh, McCain Stadium as uh, Gazza tries to chip it through towards uh, Ali McCoist. Would have been appropriate at the McCain Stadium if it had been a Nigel Winterburn chip, but it wasn't. Oh, it, was no. a, it was a crushing drive. This is Bergkamp in the box. Bergkamp shoots and just wide. 
great skills from Dennis Bergkamp again. He has a whole array of skills in uh, those boots, right and left, and he used them again. Beautiful balance, great control, lovely vision. The shot was just wide, and Dave Seaman comes off and uh, waves uh, farewell to the Arsenal fans for this season. Well, actually, they play Watford, uh, and Arsenal team plays Watford on Friday. I don't know who's going to be playing and who isn't, but Dave Seaman says farewell to uh, the Highbury fans for this season. And John Lukic comes onto the field of play. Uh, John Lukic, a great servant of this football club as well, and of Leeds United, and um, an excellent goalkeeper in his own right. I mentioned his record this season a little bit earlier. 17 games this season, only conceded 22 two goals and when you think that uh, for the first North London derby this year do you remember that Dave Seaman it was his first game out and Arsenal fans were saying we've got no chance of winning the game we're going to lose to Tottenham because David Seaman's out and Lukic will play well Lukic did Arsenal proud a total of 297 Arsenal appearances in his two spells at the club so far 280 in his first spell and uh, a lot of games for Leeds United as well 387 games for Leeds United it's uh, forward from John Moncur right hand side Peter Van Vossen closed down by Winterburn and Winterburn comes away with it for the Arsenal 12 minutes of the second half played Capital Gold Sports Home with Carlin Black Labour essential kit for any match uh, live football and uh, Tony Banks MP Minister for Sport on a little bit earlier tonight on Capital Gold Sports Time this is Nicolas Anelka and uh, the Frenchman runs a weavy path before being upended by John Moncur and it's an Arsenal free kick inside of their own uh, inside of the Rangers penalty area I'd love to know how much Arsenal actually paid for Nicolas Anelka in the end but no one will ever say Marshall forward Watson stabs it away downfield this is Moncur right footed chipping it long looking for Van Vossen Morrow comes over towards this near side Van Vossen deep inside Arsenal territory Gascoigne's gone forward love to see a Gascoigne goal tonight out towards the right hand side it goes and Rangers come again with Stephen Wright far side closed down by Nigel Winterburn Wright and Winterburn shoulder to shoulder I think Winterburn will be the winner tries a little back heel finds Steve Bold Bold forward towards Ian Selly and Selly on the edge of his 18 yard box right footed forward to Anelka Anelka good looking ball Ian Wright it drops over his right shoulder support from Ray Parler Wright to have a little run at Unsworth he's beaten Unsworth Ian Wright in the box chips and double saves he's going wide anyway and a raised hand of a Apology from Ian Wright to Ian Selly, who'd make great ground inside of the penalty area. Though. He's there for a hat-trick, isn't he, Ian Wright? I'm looking down there, Steve, actually. Have you noticed that uh, Alberta's got blue boots on? If you ever go to uh, if you ever go to Ibrox, I've been lucky enough to go to a, a, a couple of uh, Glasgow derbies up there, the, the Celtic match, which is incredible, the atmosphere. When you have a look round, the uh, the snooker table in the hall there at, uh, at Ibrox is blue. <laughs> and it, the toilets are all blue and everything. It's incredible. Nothing at all green, of course, because it's Celtic. But uh, having a blue snooker table is something a little bit special, isn't it? It's Peter Van Vossen. If they could make the grass blue at Ibrox, I'm sure they would. Van Vossen turns it in towards the near post. And John Lukic makes a comfortable save on the hour mark and bolts it out to Bergkamp, who's under pressure but got out of trouble before McKinnis shoots. Van Vossen's way way offside so he doesn't bother trying to poke it into the back of uh, John Lukic's goal uh, Rangers 3 Arsenal 0 that game back in August 1996 the one before that between these two sides back in the uh, December of 1989 Arsenal 2-1 winners up at Ibrox in uh, a British challenge match just over 31,000 saw that Nar Quinn scored and so did Paul Davis that day and uh, 1980 beginning of August Rangers beat Arsenal 2 0 up at Ibrox back to 73 then in a 2 1 Arsenal win at Ibrox in front of 71,000 for Rangers centenary and a 2 2 draw at Ibrox in 1968 last time Glasgow Rangers played here uh, 30 years ago August 1967 uh, Arsenal 3 Rangers nil just under 35,000 saw it and uh, Ron our old mate from the Arsenal press box uh, remembers the game well he says the Rangers fans wrecked the place apparently but uh, times have changed a little bit since then we hope it's uh, John Moncur coming forward and uh, strikes a left footed drive from about 25 26 yards out and it's well wide of John Lukic's right hand up right 3-1 the Arsenal and uh, it's uh, obviously it hasn't quite got uh, the pace or competitive edge but it's still uh, a forum now 
over the last half hour of the game for the likes of Bergkamp, Gascoigne, Wright, uh, Albert, Van Bossen, and uh, hopefully Nigel Winterburn. And certainly Nicholas and Elke to show their skills in, a, in an environment where they have a little bit more room, a little bit more time, a little bit more space. And this is Van Bossen. Great challenge by Morrow, who then handled it. And Van Bossen's furious that the referee didn't give Rangers a penalty. Morrow did handle it. I think it was accidental. David Unsworth clears it away downfield. Some people just don't understand friendlies, do they? Peter Van Bossen is uh, amongst them. And it's Bergkamp also, I think, is amongst them. I'm not sure he quite understands the concept of a friendly game. But it's Dutch. And uh, it's Nigel Winterburn on the far side of the field, turning it infield to Ian Selly. The challenge came in by Gascoigne. And on the far side of the field, it's a throw to Arsenal. And Nigel Winterburn will take it the man of the night. Has a year's contract and extension uh, to keep him here at Highbury through until the end of next season, when he will be 34. But who knows how long Nigel Winterburn could go on? 34. Um, I don't know, he could go on beyond that. Maybe not here, but uh, he certainly has another season here at Ivory. Could well have more of that. Nigel Winterman will certainly uh, still be playing league football somewhere, even if it isn't here in 12 months' time, but having signed a one-year extension to his Ivory contract. Anders Limpar back towards his near side and Bergkamp, right to put in Bergkamp, and Nelka nods down towards Ray Parler. Parler downfield towards Ian Selly. What an Arsenal hero this man was, Anders Limpar. Ian Wright, uh, another Gunners hero on the edge of the Rangers penalty area. It's headed away there by Stephen Wright, and Rangers will bring it up towards Gascoigne. Now, Gascoigne confronted by Dennis Bergkamp. What talent there, midway inside the Arsenal half of the field. Gascoigne spreads it away towards Stephen Wright. Wright towards the far side of the field. This is Van Vossen. Van Vossen just beaten to it by Nigel Winterburn's challenge. And uh, Dennis Bergkamp brings it away downfield and crosses the halfway line. Bergkamp for Arsenal. Ray Parler on the right-hand touchline. The game being played at, uh, it's dropped from kind of three-quarters pace early on to about half pace now. Winterburn here for Arsenal. Uh, a crowd I would certainly think the lower tier of the North Bank is virtually full. The upper tier is, uh, I would say, a little over half full. Far side, West End, uh, getting on half full. Clock ends uh, full of Rangers fans. They're uh, all bobbing up and down at the moment. That's about three quarters full. And this East End is pretty full as well. It's, uh, it's a very respectable crowd. I would say a crowd equivalent perhaps to a, a sort of early round of the Coca-Cola Cup sort of crowd uh, here at a hybrid. It may even be a little bit over 20,000. Yeah, I reckon around about 20, 21,000 here, Steve. It's, uh, it's a great, great crowd. Uh, uh, Rangers just making a, a substitution here. There's a couple of players coming on. It looks like uh, Ian Durant's going to come on. And uh, Greg Shields as well. So uh, Ali McCoy's just making his way down the tunnel there. And uh, I think he's going to sit down there in the dugout. And he's, uh, he's had a good game, Ali McCoy. A, a good finish as well on the goal, which uh, opened the scoring here. Ali McCoy goes off and Stephen Wright goes off. Ian Durant comes on along with Greg Shields, who uh, I think will move out into the right fullback position. Yes he does and uh, Ian Durant uh, into the heart of the midfield you may remember Ian Durant had a loan spell with Everton didn't he remember when Duncan Ferguson and Ian Durant both came down from Ibrox to have a loan spell at Goodison uh, Ferguson stayed Durant actually he did well actually Ian Durant to be fair but uh, uh, went back to Ibrox and uh, now here uh, at Highbury down on this down on this near side it's Scott Marshall challenge comes in from Paul Gascoigne and uh, it's a throw into the Gunners and Marshall will take it. Limpar's dummy, right looking for Limpar again. Dave Watson steps over the ball, out of play on this near side. Big Dave Watson's throw is played to Unsworth. Down on the near side, coming forward for Rangers, is George Alberts, now Gaza. Uh, certainly is balding on a bit Gaza. He's given it away, has he? No, Unsworth forward. Gascoigne there again. Unsworth points the way, and Gaza spreads it away towards Steve Presley on the far side of the field. Presley towards the halfway line. Rangers. Square ball infield to John Monker. Monker, Gascoigne there. Gascoigne as, uh, drops off and Monker carries it forward. Turns it wide to Van Vossen on this near side. Parler closes him down. Van Vossen, big, tall and sturdy. Spreads it away towards the far side of the field and Presley. Presley, a uh, little drag back, turns it infield towards Dave Watson. Watson forward towards Ian Durant. His first touch since coming on as a sub. Back to Dave Watson again. And once again, this is uh, forward uh, up towards the edge of the penalty area by McInnes. But offside on the edge of that box is uh, Peter Van Vossen 
and it's a free kick to the Gunners. We are 20 and a half minutes into the second half of the game and Arsenal lead 3-1. Capital goal sports time with Carling Black Label. Essential kick for any match. Nigel Winterburn tonight. Nuneaton born in uh, December of 1963. Actually started with Birmingham. Uh, never made a first team appearance for Birmingham City. Went in a free transfer to Wimbledon. Nearly 200 appearances for the Dons. He scored eight before coming to Highbury for £407,000 at the start of the 87-88 season. And uh, he's made now 452 first team appearances for the Gunners. Uh, made his league debut against Southampton here at Highbury on the 21st of November 1987. Arsenal lost it by a goal to nil. He's been ever present this season and uh, the only game in the league, that is the only game he's uh, missed was the drawn FA Cup fourth round side, Allen Road. It's uh, Anelka on the far side of the field and uh, it's cleared away by Glasgow Rangers. Been a great season for the Arsenal back line, hasn't it? You were talking about Alan Smith a bit earlier. What a transformed back line. It's, it's the usual suspects, but they're doing it in a different way. Brilliant, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's excellent seeing Winterburn and, and Dixon marauding forward. And they're just getting a little bit of an extra swimming out of the game. And it's, they've been brilliant to watch this season, Arsenal. This is Van Vossen touching it off. Uh, very galling for Tottenham Hotspur fans to, <laughs> to be more boring to watch than Arsenal. Uh, as Gascoigne inside of the penalty area, Winterburn turns it behind for a corner kick. Good burn by Gascoigne, a little bit of pace. Uh, I say that, by the way, don't Tottenham fans, don't get on to me. I'm quoting some of you who phoned us up on Capital Gold Sports Time this year to say that uh, you've had your season tickets at White Hart Lane and have uh, had to hold your hands up and admit that Arsenal at times have played better football this season. Gascoigne with the corner, in it comes, aimed towards Watson, cleared away, Presley got up two, Ian Durant, his first touch let him down, Bergkamp closes him down and gets a boot in. Van Vossen looks for Durant again, bit tight. Van Vossen gets it back and turns it square to John Moncur, who might shoot from there, the hammer. Moncur instead inside of the area, low stab ball in, aimed towards Watson, well cleared away by Steve Morrow on the edge of his own six-yard box as Presley's ball looked dangerous. Limpar, great turn of pace by Limpar. He's done well tonight since he came on at half-time and his Limpar blocks inside of the area and uh, McInnes will get it away and out of play. Something must have gone on there at Birmingham for Limpar to be released. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, uh, he's actually a, a brilliant player. I mean, Arsenal fans remember him at his best, but what a turn of pace down there. He, he's still got it. Unfortunately, the cross was very, very poor at the end of it, but uh, surely a useful acquisition for somebody. Yeah. Everton fans uh, took to Anders Limpar um, quite well as well. He was a great favourite here. They quite liked him up at Goodison and uh, then went to Birmingham City and it's all gone wrong for him there but Birmingham City haven't had the best of seasons uh, a bit like the prodigal son returning their season Trevor Francis in charge uh, Bob Latchford back on the coaching staff there uh, Steve Bruce in on big money at Birmingham City and they had a bit of a mare to be honest and uh, for a while there looked like they might end up getting sucked into relegation ended up mid-table and uh, that's a disappointment they will have to do better next year this is John Moncur chipping away to Van Vossen. Oh, look at Van Vossen. It was cleared by Marshall. Talk about competitive edge. He is a uh, bit of Van Vossen who came on at half time. Uh, he was furious when the referee didn't give him a penalty a few moments ago. He's furious with that uh, interception by Scott Marshall. He's up for it. Ian Wright challenged by Dave Watson, who's done well as well. And this is George Albert standing on this near side. He's had a good game. Gascoigne, a couple of lovely moments from him in the game uh, without really controlling the midfield. He threatened to do it early on. Got a bit quiet since then, but still flashes are there. Albert's through inside of the area. This is Durant. Durant looking for support. And uh, it didn't come from Greg Shields. And Arsenal will half clear, but Rangers on top at the moment. Now Betts may shoot. Lovely ball, John Monker. He's carried it too far. Can't keep it in play, can he? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Goal <laughs> kick. Oh, it's a lovely ball by Alberts to John Moncur. And he took it round John Lukic, and he must have thought there he was going to score. Uh, guesting for Glasgow Rangers down in front of the Ibrox fans. And those Ibrox fans, for a moment, perhaps, saw a John Moncur goal, a little piece of history, but then... Uh, Unfortunately, staring into the faces of 4,000 Rangers fans, he took it too far. They are quite rare, aren't they, John Moncure goals? But this season, of course, scoring up at Leicester. And that really, the goal that kept them up. So, uh, 
John Moncure just took it a step too far there, didn't he? Closed down his angle and, uh, and couldn't finish it. But great turn. I think, I think oh, is he a right stabbing it through? Was that handball by Dave Watson? I suspect it might have been. Dermot Gallagher's in a lenient mood and Rangers will bring it away and he has Gascoigne now. Arsenal have three back, joined now by Bolt. Gascoigne forward, shrugs off Marshall, just did enough Scott Marshall and Arsenal will bring it away downfield. Ray Parler down on this near side for the Gunners. 26 minutes of the second half played. Limpar left-footed forward. Right controls beautifully and looks for Anelka who may be in the was offside. Nicholas Anelka and uh, it's a free kick to Rangers. Both John Monker's goals this season for West Ham were against Leicester. 1-0 uh, at home and 1-0 away. And effectively, those six points uh, kept them up. Certainly the 1-0 win at Leicester was absolutely crucial. George Alberts, long ball forward. I can't remember, if you can remember, the last time we went through a season without a London team in the top four divisions in professional leagues being relegated, then uh, give us a call. 01714848222. 20,022 are here tonight for Nigel Winterburn. That's a good crowd. Uh, 01714848222 because I've been trying to work it out for days now. When was the last time we had a season in London that no team got relegated? That's uh, what we've had this season, which is good news. Unsworth back to Dibble, who's hacked it away. Not a great clearance. This is forward from John Moncur, and Rangers will build again. Gascoigne's creeping ever forward, almost playing just in behind Van Vossen at the moment. Gascoigne has support on the right-hand side from Shields. Honours a sub. Infield again to Gaza. Alberts edge of the penalty area. Bent in. Alberts looking for it. Marshall away. Important clearance. Van Vossen goes up. Gascoigne wants it again, but Moncur takes over. Moncur up towards the edge of the penalty area, trying to make amends for that miss. Gets it wide towards the right-hand side. Shields in field. And this is Alberts. Shrugged off the ball by Limpar. Referee blows and he gives Rangers a free kick right on the edge of the Arsenal penalty area. Well, George Alberts took one from a very similar area in the first off. Gascoigne takes it quickly into the back of the net and the referee has given the goal and Paul Gascoigne has scored for Glasgow Rangers it's 3-2 without the Arsenal wall having a chance to line up Gascoigne comes up bends it into the back of the net and referee Dermot Gallagher I am positive had a whistle for that free kick to take place but Gascoigne scores and that's one of the things we wanted to see tonight yeah without a doubt <laughs> John Lucas didn't even uh, I mean he, he wasn't even ready for that one at all the wall wasn't lined up Gas to put the ball down and then just smacked it and listen to the reaction he's getting because a uh, little bit dodgy to say the least but Gaz is on the score sheet Ian Wright has come off and young Isaiah <laughs> Rankin I think that was <laughs> Isaiah Rankin has come on uh, if that had happened in a league match I think uh, people would have been punching Dermot Gallagher's lights out I think but, uh, but it didn't and Gascoigne bent it into the back of the net with nobody there to stop him this is uh, John Moncur for Rangers midway inside his own half for the field Van Vossen gives it away Parler Limpar being a great shoot goal from Limpar forward to Anelka who shoots wide I was just going to say remember that goal from Anders Limpar against Liverpool here uh, was it one of the championship years might have been 1991 and uh, certainly wasn't 89 because he wasn't here then he was still in Italy 91 or 92 and uh, Anders Limpar Arsenal won 4-0 I think Limpar scored the fourth from about 40 yards out magnificent goal Rangers come forward it's uh, Ian Durant with a long ball. Ray Parler gets his head on it and nods it all the way back to John Lukic in the goal away to our left-hand side. Still lives in Chesterfield. Uh, John Lukic and was cheering on Chesterfield in their FA Cup run. Stan on this near side. And I think Chesterfield is also the birthplace of Bob Wilson, Arsenal's goalkeeping coach. And uh, maybe, anyway, know, maybe not. It's right on the far side, Winterburn infield towards Dennis Bergkamp. I quite know why that was so funny, but apparently it was. <laughs> Isaiah Rankin has uh, got it for Arsenal, young reserve team striker. And has he given a corner to the referee, Dermot Gallagher? I think he has. He's given a corner to Arsenal down in front of the North Bank. Gary Lewin's down there waving uh, a number. And someone is going to be substituted any minute now. What's the number he's waving? And uh, no, you can't do that. He's bringing off Nigel Winterburn and bringing on Paul Shaw. And Nigel Winterburn will leave the field of play to a standing ovation with 15 minutes to go. And uh, turns and applaud to all four sides of Highbury. 20,022 people inside Highbury tonight. Uh, it would have been higher attendance, but the police wouldn't let tickets be sold uh, today because of security reasons. And Nigel Winterburn goes off to a standing ovation from everybody inside of Highbury. And Gary Lewin congratulates him. And uh, Paul Shaw comes on for this 
Arsenal corner kick. Uh, well, we'll talk about that substitution in just a minute, but Arsenal have this corner, and it's short, and this is Bergkamp. Challenge comes in, and uh, it's out of play on the far side, and it's an Arsenal throw in, and Anders Limpar will take the throw, level with the edge of the uh, Glasgow Rangers penalty area. Paul Shaw is there, and it's back towards Steve Fold midway inside his own half of the field for the Arsenal 3-2 up with a little under a quarter of an hour played now as uh, Ian Selly stabs it wide towards this near side and uh, Nigel Winterburn's gone down to get showered and changed so he has one or two uh, people to meet and things to do and uh, no doubt awards and stuff to pick up uh, before the end of the game so he's gone off uh, to go and get changed Nigel Winterburn uh, meantime somewhere in the ground his two sons James and Joseph uh, won't be complaining because according to their uh, preferred Arsenal players in the programme they don't like their dad anyway they're quite happy to watch David Seaman play most weeks this is Albert towards the edge of the penalty area the uh, their own penalty area Rangers and uh, Arsenal will build again 3-2 up this is Dennis Bergkamp inside of the centre circle Bergkamp away from Van Vossen the two touch a lovely turn by Bergkamp great strength as well before he eventually runs into Unsworth who's uh, a big lad himself David Unsworth and uh, he clears it away and Gascoigne spreads it out towards the right hand side Stephen Wright Gascoigne edge of the area Van Vossen there Alberts is forward crosses driven in Gascoigne waiting and Marshall heads it behind for the Rangers corner their second of the second half the fifth of the game Arsenal have had three and Arsenal lead 3-2 in Nigel Winterman's testimonial the Battle of Britain on Capital Gold Sports Time with Carling Black Label top of the Lager League Alberts with the corner kick cheered by the uh, Rangers fans behind the goal he acknowledges those cheers Paul Shaw clears his corner though and Anelka touches it down to uh, uh, Paul Shaw looks for the return Isaiah Rankin it's the spit of Ian Wright in many ways the turn just a little run he made then off Anelka and the turn he made uh, he looked a lot like a young Ian Wright if he scores half as many goals as Ian Wright in his career he'll have some time and uh, it's a throw in on the far side of the field and Stevie Bold will take Take it. Like Nigel Winterburn, a veteran of this long standing Arsenal defence, Steve Bold. Again, another full season for him. 41 games this season. Steve Bold taking his uh, Arsenal total over the 300 mark this year. His career total is coming up to the 550 mark. Offside flag on the far side of the field against Niklas Anelka. And it's a free kick to Glasgow Rangers on the edge of their own penalty area. Uh, Nicholas Anelka still only 18, turned 18 in the middle of March. And uh, is uh, certainly going to be uh, having a big impact, I think, on English football next season. This is Gascoigne, still in many ways the focal point of the England national team for all his uh, problems and uh, all his uh, form dips and... Uh, bulging belly and everything else that has happened to Paul Gascoigne over the years his knees and injuries uh, he is still so much at the heart of the English national team if not English club football because he's there with Rangers as they come forward inside of the area it was a good little jinking run as well by Ian Durant eventually stopped by Morrow down on this near side Marshall a bit casual Van Vossen came in Gascoigne's there Durant's still in the box it's pulled back and driven goalwards and over the top of the bar by Derek McInnes well over the bar Dave yeah, a long way over the bar there. The Rangers fans are enjoying uh, being at Highbury. Uh, they're enjoying seeing their uh, the players in action. Another substitution happening here, Steve. It looks like uh, Gary Bolland's going to be coming on there. And uh, who's gone off? George Alberts has, right. uh, has gone off from the left fullback position, and Gary Bolland fits straight into the left-hand side of the Rangers' defence. Down on this near side, wearing 17. George Alberts uh, had a good game actually for uh, Rangers tonight. A couple of uh, great strikes, one early on tipped over the top by David Seaman. This is Steve Morrow. Morrow left-footed bends it away to Scott Marshall down on this near side. Steve Morrow will be very much a part of Queen's Park Rangers bid to get back in the Premier League next season. Sally, here he is, Morrow. Uh, forward to short. Will ever be famous, Steve Morrow, for uh, breaking his collarbone while riding on the back of Tony Adams after the Coca-Cola Cup final in 1993. It's uh, after he scored the 
goal as well, of course. Ian Durant for Rangers on the edge of his own penalty area. Runs into trouble. Burkamp nearly nicks it away from him. Well played, Durant. Forward it goes towards Moncur. Moncur away from Selly. Forward to McInnes inside their own half of the field. Still Rangers. In comes the challenge of Anelka. This is Isaiah Rankin. His first touch, really. Looks to support Parler there. Parler runs into the challenge of McInnes. McInnes apologises because he put some venom into the challenge. Dave Watson clears it away. Van Vossen is just onside. Gascoigne is trying to make ground down the middle. Gazza with Van Vossen square of him. Van Vossen bends it in. Gascoigne shooting chance. Close down now. He tees it up for Moncur and Lukic saves with his right leg. An Arsenal escape. Van Vossen into Gascoigne and wide to Moncur and Johnny Lukic stuck out his right boot and stabbed it away with nine minutes to play and Arsenal still lead 3-2. Yeah, don't forget if you are a Caesar the Geezer fan, you're expecting all at 10 o'clock. The reason we're delayed here, there's a security alert. Uh, the match will be over in around about nine minutes and Caesar the Geese will be coming your way. Here's Rangers again. Uh, inside of the penalty chase turned off. Van Vossen, chance, and it's in! Van Vossen left footed. Lukic got a hand to it. Tipped it onto the post and in. And Van Vossen is absolutely delighted. I told you he was up for this game. He's really chuffed with that. It's Arsenal 3, Glasgow Rangers 3. Yeah, he's uh, completely hyper, isn't he? He almost did a lap of honour when he smacked that one in. Uh, John Lukic, a uh, little bit of a question mark over him there because he, he dived at full stretch. He got a hand to it, but unfortunately it just trickled into his own net and uh, Van Vossen running around celebrating. And look, he's putting in another challenge there on Ray Parler. I don't know. What, <laughs> he's a friendly mate. What's happening? I know. Uh, he's got a little bit carried away, Van Vossen down there with a point to prove maybe to Walter Smith this is Ray Parler now Arsenal want to win the game Parler crosses and it's stabbed away at the near post by uh, Presley and it's behind for a corner kick to Arsenal away on the right hand side in front of the North Bank it is after all an England-Scotland affair and uh, any England-Scotland affair uh, both sides desperately want to win it Arsenal have a fourth corner kick of the game and Dennis Bergkamp will take it Bergkamp takes it short. Limpar looks to lose his uh, marker down on this near side, the substitute Bollard. Bergkamp drives, Dibble parries. Dennis Bergkamp is, uh, is really up for it as well. The two Dutchmen uh, are well up for this one. Three all it is. It's long downfield. Van Vossen is there again. Ray Parler covering. And he just ran into an offside position. Peter Van Vossen down on this near touchline. Ball rolls away from him and a policeman uh, gets up and... Uh, and neatly actually left-footed little dipping cross ball towards Steve Morrow who takes the free kick towards Stevie Bold on the far side of the field 3-3 three, three. Bold down in front of the uh, far west stand it's one or two Arsenal fans begin to make their way home Selly into Paul Shaw halfway line Shaw turns faces up to the Rangers defence just spreads it square towards Anelka who gives it away Van Vossen now with a run through on the Arsenal goal Morrow is back good challenge Anders Limpar came back and challenged somebody. Extraordinary stuff. This is uh, Glasgow Rangers on the edge of the Arsenal penalty area. Away towards the right-hand side. John Moncur. Moncur inside the Arsenal penalty area. Wide towards the right-hand side. He can't get across in the sub-shields. Battling for it with Bergkamp back defending. Moncur in the area. Bold brings it away. And suddenly, with around about six minutes to go, both these sides are going... Not quite hell for leather, but they want to win it, Dave. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, three all. England against Scotland. Absolutely. Fans are getting up for it. Van Vossen did that lap of honour. He's really, you know, he's, he's angered a few people, hasn't he? This is uh, Gascoigne to Van Vossen again. Gascoigne, edge of the Arsenal area. Rangers look strong at the moment. Van Vossen's offside. And uh, it's a free kick. He's, look at him. He's absolutely livid. <laughs> Van Vossen, he can't believe he got given offside. Come on, England. Come on. <laughs> it's a free kick. It's a free kick. Oh, that sweet moment when Gascoigne lofted it over Colin Hendry and oh. stuffed it under the keeper into the back of the net. Here's Dennis Bergkamp turning it square to Ian Selly. Selly now midway inside his own half of the field. Um, to be careful actually what we say because quite a few Scottish journalists have come down from Glasgow who would uh, give me the old Glasgow kiss for reminding them <laughs> of Euro 96 and Wembley and 2-0 England. This is Selly midway inside their own, his own half of the field for Arsenal. Fully recovered now from that uh, broken leg which is great to see. But it was the far side of the field Bergkamp in field and here he is again Sally with those little uh, spindly pin like legs he's very very slight character Ian Sally Steve Bold forward and this is Bergkamp halfway line to Limpar Limpar controls now 
as little runs. Someone screams in excitement. Limpar, left-hand side of the penalty area. And Presley bundles him over, and the referee decides not to give the free kick. Or has he? Oh, he's blown up for the end of the game, the referee. Uh, he's decided that uh, he's seen enough, and 3-3 will do. We actually played five minutes short in the second half, but Dermot Gallagher and no one else, I think, will be complaining. Six goals. Great entertainment. The Battle of Britain ends all square. Arsenal three. Rangers three. Shooting match cover 15.48 a.m. Capital Goal Sports Time. And that's it then for tonight on Capital Goal Sports Time with Carling Black Label Essential Kid for any matches. 20,000 Arsenal and Rangers fans are brilliant tonight. Seeing off a security alert to celebrate 10 years of Nigel Winterburn at Highbury. Watford offer new contracts to four of their players. Darren Basley, David Conley, Kevin Phillips and Kevin Miller. All to be offered new deals to stay at Vicarage Road. Leeds sign Glasgow Rangers left back David Robertson for half a million pounds. West Ham Slab and Village will join Everton tomorrow for four and a half million. Harry Redknapp is set to spend some of the cash to keep Hugo Porfirio at Upton Park. His contract with Sporting Lisbon expires next week. He could sign on a free. Liverpool boss Roy Evans has sparked another Club B country row, saying he wants to pull Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman out of England's summer matches. He's insisting that the two stars need surgery. The Reds also chasing Sheffield Wednesday's Italian ace Benito Carboni as Aston Villa smashed their record transfer fee, signing Stan Collymore from Liverpool for £7 million and Gascoigne scores as he builds up his fitness for England, South Africa, Poland, England and the four-match France tournament. Gascoigne back in London tonight with the nine times on the spin champions. Glasgow Rangers as they draw three-all with the Gunners on a night for Nigel Winterburn. Good night.